Well, how cool is this one, hey? This morning I went detecting an old property built in the early 1900s, 1902 to be exact, and uh, the property's owner, her name is Jan, and about six months ago I actually went and delivered to Jan uh, whilst at work. I delivered a parcel and uh, I got speaking to Jan about the uh, the age of the house and the, uh, the history there and also who I was and what I did with metal detecting and my fascination for coins and rel uh, relics and hunting these old properties. Well, with a bit of sweet talking, uh, we got permission through Jan and uh, we got permission to go detect her backyard. Well, long story short, six months on, uh, this morning, uh, we actually went and detected that backyard. I know, it's been been a long time in the making. So anyway, long story short, we were standing there talking to Jan this morning before we even got started, and she mentioned about the old bottle pit down buried in the backyard where they were burning off and discarding all their rubbish. And uh, not only that, where she has found uh, some of these bottles in the past. Anyway, long story short, we got speaking of bottles and where the bottle pit was, and she actually said, I have a black plastic container in the shed full of some wonderful old bottles, and uh, I do not want them. Would you like to take them home? So I have no interest in them. Anyway, we did the detecting. Uh, long story short, at the end of the day, uh, we have finished up now with this box full of bottles. Jan went and got them out of the shed, I put them on the back veranda, and uh, we've brought them home. So we've got a heap of wonderful old bottles in here too. And some will know just how much I love my old bottles. Uh, so we've had a quick look through here. We've got some nice old uh, olive oil, virgin olive oil, stony fell. Uh, we've got some uh, two types of Davenport here, which I'll pull out in a second very carefully. Uh, they are quite a delicate bottle. A uh, big Coke bottle over the back there, as you can see. We've got a whiskey bottle hiding there. A couple of wines and beers and... Uh, look just amazing so and this is what networking uh, is really all about for me you know I did not uh, know I was going there uh, to receive a bucket full of bottles today from Jan uh, I just went there for a, a quick detect in her backyard and even to shoot a video so we did not find too much in Jan's backyard with the metal detector today a little sixpence uh, laying on the surface a 1960 sixpence uh, we've got a 1952 rue penny and a 1922 a half Commonwealth penny and a lot of the rest of it was just rubbish so but look that's okay because we had a great morning and uh, irregardless of anything else we also brought home uh, a heap of wonderful old bottles so as you can see I'm still pulling them out there's got to be about two dozen in here so just amazing and uh, you do not find bottles with a metal detector as many will know however you do enough digging at these old properties and old sites uh, you network with enough people and uh, well, look, this is the end result. You come home with uh, bottles and uh, all these wonderful old items. So, and this is not, I'll just say, this is not the first time this has happened. Uh, there was a video there I shot uh, some while ago, about a year ago, and the same thing happened. Uh, not only did I bring home a heap of wonderful old silver coins that I was given, plus, uh, plus other coins, uh, pennies and tokens and what have you, uh, from an old, uh, old fella named Ray, uh, Ray. Uh, but also Ray had took us around the farm and we happened to stumble across a crate full of bottles. And Ray said to me, uh, mate, you know, these are going to go in the bin. Uh, would you like to keep them and take them home? So as I said, this is not the first time it's happened. Get out there and network with different people, new people, get on to new permissions. Uh, look, not everybody's going to say yes uh, to hunting and detecting their backyard, uh, but not everybody's going to say no either. So keep that in mind. And uh, if you get a no, I just move on to the next one, uh, which could be a yes. So, and look, uh, I will just say quickly, we're not done here with this property yet either. Uh, we are getting back to Jan's again next time. Uh, we will try and shoot a bit of a video. There is a lot of targets there to dig uh, in that little one acre block that she's got. And the backyard's quite big too. Uh, so a lot of targets, a lot of room to move, a lot of room for activities. Uh, we're going to get there again and uh, see what else we can find. And uh, who knows, we may even come home with more bottles again. So anyway, I really hope you enjoyed uh, just seeing that there quickly. I uh, know I've certainly enjoyed the day and uh, we've got more bottles uh, to add into the collection. And look at that, I don't even have to clean them. All I have to do is enjoy them. What a ripper.